Hi, this is Joe Labaya with ATG USA. We're going over today project setup where we're taking Autodesk 2022 Revit and we are pushing this and setting up this uh, initial project for work sharing um, BIM 360 docs. All right, so to start with, what we're going to focus on is we're going to uh, set ourselves up a new project. So for new project, what we're looking at is we're going to select the new button. Once uh, that is selected, then we will uh, see a dialog box pop up and we're looking to set our template file. And for the sake of this per or of this demonstration, we're gonna go through, we're gonna select a systems template. So Imperial systems template. So if you're an MEP firm, if you are a structural firm or a firm outside of architectural, um, there are systems that you can set up or and templates that you can set up that you can utilize for your specific uh, discipline or trade or so on and so forth. So now that we have that selected, we want to make sure that we're, on, we're selecting the create new project as opposed to project template. Okay, and if you're planning on building a template and not setting it up for work sharing right away, but have a template for your different project types and so on, you can utilize that project template option there. In this case, we're creating just a standard project. So now I'll select OK. Once I select OK, I'm going to let Revit open up our floor plan. All right, and you can see the, the plans that come out in our project browser show up as electrical, mechanical, and plumbing. You can see all the views that are in default Revit. All right, so the first thing that we're going to focus on is now that we're, we've created our new project with our out of the box template. If you guys are working on a template that you have specifically, same, same feature, um, you can utilize your template and select your template that you've already created. Uh, otherwise, out of the box, we'll, we'll get you started. First thing we want to do, we want to do a save. Okay, and there, there are a couple options here to save. So you've got a save feature in the upper left-hand corner. Looks like an old school floppy disk from uh, what we remember from back in the 90s. Otherwise, there's also the file option. There's the save or save as feature right out here. Okay, now we're not set up for work sharing at this point. We can tell we're not set up for work sharing and we're not in BIM 360 specifically because we are not showing a synchronized option out here. So and that synchronized option is listed right above that red line. So first we need to save. So we're going to save. I'm going to set this up on my desktop here for the sake of argument. We've got a file folder. And I like to put this in my design folder. So uh, you guys should all have your project folder already pre-set up. You should have some folders dedicated to your link Revit models, your link CAD files, um, any other imports or exports and so on and so forth. So now comes the naming convention. So I'm gonna set this up as a naming convention of the project name. So that's gonna be uh, the, the project name, uh, number. So that traditionally be your project number. Sometimes they're in reverse. And then your, your Revit year. So this is gonna be in 22, okay? And then if you have, for instance, uh, you're in a multi-discipline uh, firm, you'll wanna list your, your either your acronym or uh, what type of uh, model you're in. So if you're in strictly the mechanical model, the plumbing model, the fire sprinkler model, the electrical model, the technology model, the structural model, something along those lines, or if you're in a combined model such as MEP, 
which is what we see quite a bit of in the design industry. You could set that up for MEP. I'm gonna select my options because I wanna make sure I've got my maximum backup set up. So that way, um, as I go to synchronize and so on and so forth, when I go to synchronize, I'm, I'm not synchronizing with the standard default, 20 backup, maximum backups, just because that eats a lot of space up, especially as we go through the progressions of the project life cycle and the project life cycle really decides to, uh, to explode the model off into that, that gig in size plus type of range that we're seeing nowadays. All right, so I, I got that listed at three. Three is a good standard number for maximum backups. Five is, is what we see as well as another industry standard. Um, so now that I have that set up, I'm gonna save. All right, so this gets my, my model saved into my project folder. Okay, and we always like to keep a, a model in our project folder. Now, if we're gonna do this for work sharing for BIM 360, our next step is going to be to come to the ribbon and we're gonna look for the Collaborate tab. Once we select the Collaborate tab, our next option is going to be the, the Collaborate button here listed on the ribbon. Once we select that button, now we get a collaborate dialog box that pops up. Now within the dialog box, we got a couple things that uh, we're looking at for our options. Okay, so we've got a within your network. So this would be something more along the lines of either a desktop, uh, maybe um, in a Dropbox or OneDrive account or on your server. Majority of the time, uh, it's on, on a ser server of some sort. Now, if we're looking at in the cloud, that's where in the cloud, we're looking specifically at synchronizing back to BIM 360 or the um, Autodesk Construction Cloud, the ACC as it's known. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to change out our radio button to go for the cloud, okay? Now I've selected the cloud and I'm gonna select okay. So our next step, we're gonna see a dialog box pop up. And in this dialog box, if you've done this before, you may have something sitting up here. Um, you may also be working third party remote. So you'll want to check your account to start with. So ours is listed as ATG USA. So that's going to be our account. And for you guys who are talking about navigating uh, the, the playing field at this point where maybe everybody's working remote, BIM 360 document management is an excellent way to work together remotely and uh, not skip a beat. You get the performance of the cloud and um, what Autodesk has done over the years to make sure that cloud doesn't go down. And then um, you can, like my team, you can literally work in all, all different states in the country with your team and collaborate together in a project utilizing um, options like Teams and, and Zoom and, and or Slack or some other um, program for chatting and for for video, okay? And then pull your model, push and pull your model from, from a cloud source. So in this case, we have ATG USA. I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm looking to see what I, I currently have for projects that are out here. You can see I have a project folder listed as project setup dash BIM 360 test. That's going to be the project I created on BIM 360 document management. So I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to navigate through my folders. So I'm going to go to project files. And I have construction uh, folders for construction projects. I have design folders for design projects. And then I have shared. 
So you can do this in any aspect of the industry, whether you're doing a VDC project, a prefab project, or a design project specifically. So, and now I'm gonna select through my design. I know I'm MEP, and this is where I'm going to maintain my name. So you can see my name of my project listed down here. That's gonna also show up uh, on Revit here. I'm gonna select save. And this now is going to work on synchronizing back to, back to the cloud. All right. So as we wait for this to, to synchronize back to the cloud, um, I just want to point out that once we synchronize this back to the cloud, our next cloud, our next step is going to be focusing on the work sets so we can get those work sets created. Okay, and then we can also as well venture over to the insert tab here on the ribbon. And this is where we can start to bring in our other projects uh, that may be synchronized on, on the cloud specifically. So with your work sets listed down below, you've got your work set one. This is where we can come in here and we can create our underscore link Revit. This is where that model can sit. We can create our HVAC work set, HVAC duct, maybe our um, electrical work set that we have electrical power. And we can also set up our plumbing work set. Uh, plumbing, we can do this domestic. So this gets us some work sets, gives us that option there. And then with the insert tab, this is where now we can come up to the, uh, to the insert tab and then we'll see our link Revit option here. This is where we can link our Revit model in. And as we go to link that Revit model in, um, we will have the option at a Revit model uh, that we can pull from BIM 360. So you can see Autodesk Docs. So as we navigate through here, we can look for our architectural model. So if we have an architectural model in there, we select our architectural model. Once we select our architectural model, that's how we link through BIM 360. Otherwise, if we don't have anything on there at that point, maybe we have, have that model sitting off somewhere else. You can also as well, if you have it sitting on your drive by chance, which I don't necessarily recommend, we can link that, we can link that in. That's how I have it set up for, for the sake of argument today. So this is how we get our model into Revit. Once we get our model into Revit, we've got a couple of work sets. We've started up our project. Now we'll want to synchronize. Okay, I'm going to select my compact central model and my user created work sets. Hit OK. You can see I've got a dialog box that comes up for synchronizing. And that ladies and gentlemen, that is how we do a basic project setup in Revit 2022 utilizing docs from BIM 360 in order for you to be able to work remote or be able to work on projects scattered around the country. Thank you and have a great day. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel. 